Welcome back to the College Sports Tour, and this week we are going to men's soccer versus UNCW, and honestly, if you're here for soccer content, this is not the video for you because I'm pretty sure everything happens but soccer, so let's go ahead and get into it. Men's soccer's today. It's a weekday game. Like, it's literally a Tuesday, 7 p.m. Really excited. First and probably last men's soccer game. We're playing UNCW. It's at home, didn't have to drive two hours this time. I'm rambling, so uh, let's go ahead and go in. Cassandra's here now, you guys. Fun fact, I don't like men's soccer. <laughs> well, I like <laughs> Unpopular opinion, the actual game kind of kind of not my vibe. But you know, I commit it to a task and a journey and I'm gonna... It goes football, basketball, baseball, hockey, men's soccer. I'm switching hockey and baseball. I say football, basketball, baseball, hockey. Water polo, golf, and soccer. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. And men's soccer is at the bottom of the list. We're putting it under water polo. But again, we're here. They're doing good. I love women's soccer. Okay, women's soccer. Women for women's soccer. Women's soccer, I'm there, front row, all the time, doing the play by play. But I don't know. It's something about. <laughs> we just can't get down. <laughs> No offense to anyone that plays. To hit each other, like, no offense to anyone that plays this sport. As we sit at your game right now. UNC yellow card number 22, Milo Garbani. <laughs> what? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. We're definitely sitting in the other team section, but you know. The wheels. <laughs> That's pretty. That's, yeah, I took my Look at that sunset. We love a sunset. We finally got one. Let's go. One for the good guys. UNCW <laughs> good yellow guys. card for like 23. Love it. Good job. Uh, Why? Just a little bit off target there. Five, Hit four, no, three, not two, one, zero. So it's time about the soccer game. And what are you doing, Cassandra? I am deep diving <laughs> Coach Max Instagram. <laughs> What, what year are we on? 20, 2012? Well, we're only in 2016. <laughs> so, not a big fan of the horns, but. To the goats. Morale is kind of low. Because, as, as I said earlier, <laughs> not a big fan of Ben Tucker. And the fact that it's 0 0, and you probably literally can't hear me because the covers are so loud. This cow is named Matt. The cow is named and Matt. I'm gonna have to put captions over this because these covers they're playing are so loud. <laughs> Bro, what is this? <laughs> it's a charity event. Can you tell we're kind of bored? <laughs> There's a minute and 20. This is the longest halftime. Well, 20 minutes? It's a big fish. Love to see it. Love to see it. Someone's hurt, so we need to cover ourselves entertain. So let's talk about why everybody wanted to be a number 12. 56 or something where it's like, oh, you took the last jersey available. Like yeah. 12 is like the happy medium where like you're like midfield, you're sure. athletic, you know? I get it. I, I was a number 12, I'm not gonna lie and be like, I was different, but I did end up changing to 53 because I wanted to be different. So I was basic and then I was like, so let's stop. Like, I, was, I was 23. Because you know Michael Jordan. <laughs> Michael Jordan. I've been to, yeah, no, actually, because my favorite number is three, but the threes were always like extra small. Oh, so <laughs> speak on it, my like, I'll just put two in there, 23, and we'll roll with it. So let us know if you have a hypothesis about why number 12 yeah. is a hot number. I feel like I feel like all of the like third, like I feel like 11, 12, 13, like those are the, like, the hottest numbers. They are the hottest Everybody numbers. Wants. Not hot is in like good, but hot is in like they're gone by the time you try to get them. Yeah, they fly off the shelf. Fly off the shelf. Okay, they're back. Oh my gosh! Love that. Good job, you guys. 
the other team goalie will not stop talking. Like, we don't understand. He's a chatty Cathy. A chatty chat. Yeah. Yeah. I can't say nothing too loud because we are in the parents. We are, unfortunately, in the UNCW section. UNCW will play with 10 men for the remainder of the match. Ooh, yeah. what? Drama. We moved. Yeah. Location change. Yeah, I want to go Oh my gosh. Come on! Oh! One minute left. How do we feel, Cassandra? Well, we would feel a lot better if we get our ball on this third of the field. Nope, that's true. I mean, we did move all the way down here. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, zero. It didn't in a tie. I was expecting at least overtime. We were looking for overtime. Final thoughts, Cassandra. We should have sat in our section the whole time. True. And it was a good time. We would have liked to see some goals. We definitely would have liked to see some goals. But. We played good defense. And stop with the weak crosses. That's a wrap for episode two. And in the next one, we'll be headed to Dorn's Field again to see UNC women's soccer team take on NC State. And Cassandra comes back to hang out with us again. But make sure you don't miss that as you need to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video, which are on Mondays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down because it's your thumb. And remember, don't be afraid to join the combo. I got carried off the field. That was his dad. Oh, what, where yeah. did he return? A mystery.